Roll the protective top back to gain access to the meter. Install the test leads. Black lead goes to common, red lead goes to plus. Turn the meter on by rotating the function switch. The plus DC position for resistance measurements and DC voltage measurements. The AC volts only position for AC voltage measurements. Select the correct range. For resistance measurements, rotate the range switch to the applicable range. RX1 will measure from 0 to 200 ohms. RX100 will measure from 200 ohms to 20,000 or 20k ohms. RX10,000 will measure resistance above 20,000 or 20k ohms. For DC voltage measurements, select the range between 2.5, 10, 25, 50, or 250 volts. Always use a range that is more voltage than you expect to measure to protect your meter. For example, if the system you are measuring is capable of 28 volts DC, then the range selector should be in the 50 volt position. For AC voltage measurements, be sure the function switch is in the AC only position. Select between 2.5, 10, 25, 50, or 250 volts. If the system you are measuring is capable of 115 volts AC, the range selector should be in the 250V position. There are multiple scales on the meter face. Resistance measurements are read from the uppermost black scale above the mirror. On that scale, there are different increments for several of the number groups. These groups are 0 to 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 30, 30 to 100, 100 to 150, 150 to 200, 200 to 500, 500 to 1K, 1K to 2K. DC voltage is read from the black scale below the mirror. The number on the furthest right corresponds to what position the range selector is in. For the 2.5 range, the 250 scale is used and 250 is read as 2.50. For the 25 range, the 250 scale is used again, and 250 is read as 25.0. AC voltage is read on the uppermost red scale and uses the same numbers and increments as the DC voltage measurement. For voltage measurements, AC or DC, the increments for each range selection are as follows. To make a resistance measurement, select the RX1 range, unless you know the amount of resistance you are measuring. Grab the test leads and hold the ends together. Observe the measured resistance. If it does not read zero, use the zero ohms knob to adjust the needle until it reads zero. If zero cannot be achieved, the batteries require replacement. Once the meter is zeroed, connect the meter to the circuit you wish to measure. When you're done, place the range select knob into the 500 MA position. Unplug the test leads and store them into the meter case. Be sure the function switch is in the off position. Roll the protective cover over the meter.